Hello, I'm Interissima and welcome back to From the Depths! It looks like we've got some people coming over to visit us. Uh-oh. In which case, we better get building. So, let's get a move on. I don't think they're on the map yet, are they? Oh, no, they are on the map. Air wing. Well, they did look like they were mostly air. What are you? A boat of some kind. Tiny little boat. Call me a boat. You're a big boat. Patchwork. Atlas. And a boat. I don't care about. Okay, right. Let's get a move on. So, we have got our lovely little turret here. We need to build, um, ooh, we could just build another one of these. Have a battery of two? It's very tempting. It's just a copy-paste job. Uh, also, we do need to build a anti-air missile battery, just in case we have something that we need to defeat using the old, old-fashioned method of chucking lots and lots and lots of missiles up at it in a very short period of time. Um, we could also do, like, a minigun as well. We could just copy the minigun from over there. I do think we need the minigun. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy the minigun. We are also gonna put down a... Uh, pretty simple missile system. And then we'll copy the turret there and have another one. It's gonna be pretty heavy duty. Alright. Where's the minigun? Over here. Hello, minigun! I would like to talk to you. Um, build mode. I did keep the shells in here, didn't I? I can't remember where I put the shells to this. It is in here. Right. What are you? Gunpowder, explosive, and composite. That is absolutely easy to do then. We can easily recreate that. Minigun. You are my minigun. All right. I will save. If I can get to the right menu. Is it M E E? New object, new sub job. Let's save sub object. I would like to save it as. Mini gun. Save. Right. Then out of build mode. Head over here. Teleport. Whee! Boing. Uh, now. Building this turret is going to be our first like real, I wouldn't say difficulty as such, but it is going to need special positioning because it de depends on like fast tracking and so on. It's tempting to just chuck it up the back here. Yeah. So this thing's going to have an arc of fire, which is fine. So if we place it here... Where am I? Okay, I'm over here. And build, load, minigun on a one-axis turret. Yep, that's correct. Now, ideally, it is tall enough just... I would like to give it a bit of extra height, though, so I'm going to delete that. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Oh, that'll do. Okay. Um, I'm just going to raise it up good old-fashioned way, not on wood. That would be a mistake, because then you just have to take that wood and the entire turret would go. Metal block. One, two. And then load, minigun. Why can't I place it? I don't have enough resources. I just placed it. And I deleted it. I should get those resources back. You're kidding me. What? 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 5,400 scrap. Yeah, I'm, I don't have scrap. I'm like 3,000 scrap down. Do, does it like slowly do that? Like, can I help by like grenading it or something? Come back. Ah, ah, ah! Oh, luckily it's just like balsa wood. It's not actually metal. Um, yeah, we're still like massively down in terms of scrap. 
I guess you have to wait for them to despawn or something. Well, that's incredibly disappointing. Now it's like, I can't do my minigun. That makes me sad. I want to do a minigun! God damn it. Fine. Pull all, 10 times speed. See if we can get a minigun in time. I doubt it. Getting close. Getting close. Too close. Attack blimp. Repair. Come on, can you be ready in time? Now I don't think attack blimp can be ready in time. We're out of uh we're out of oil again. Fine, starting fortress, fight. Because I'm not in a fight with that. It's just not ready. And yeah, we'll have the sea scroll for laughs. Why not? Okay, TP. Ah! I fired a grenade. I hate the fact that, like, I just spawn in and I have my grenade launch second and I go to zoom and whoopsie! Grenade myself. Uh, starting fortress. TP. That is not me TPing to the starting fortress. Right. How's it? God damn it! Right. Binoculars, binoculars, binoculars. And I am inside, and the spawn block is... Right, I have binos selected. Didn't we already fight this fleet? Oh well, same again. Sure. Come on, we can take him. Take him. Nice hit. Oh, we need to do better. It's got multiple, like, little engines. Oh, Clever girl. Oh, that looks like, like good. Come on. Come on. No. These ones, though. These ones. Yes. Come on, we can kill it. Fire. Excellent. Main guns come out. Oh. Main gun exploded. Come on. You start sinking now. You've got my permission. Is that it sinking? The sound stopped. I'm seeing lots of debris. And I think it's still alive. Oh, I just went out of range of the heli blades, I think. It's a sound bug. Come on. It's not far from death. Finish it off! 
Blood for the blood god. Sandwiches for the sandwich god. Come on. I already want the sandwich now. Yes! Too damaged. Whee. And you're too close. We need to turn the fortress. And I'm going to TP. Can I TP up here? That's odd. Look, I can select it and then it immediately tells me I can't select it. Damn it, because I really wanted to be able to go to there. You know what? We'll do it anyway. I really want to try and get the uh, Atlas as it flies over. <laughs> Interesting patterns you're making in the sky there. Pretty patterns. I like how the missiles just hit the mountains and then just fly off in random directions. I mean, you know, obviously it's terrible for us in terms of like military, logistics, cost us ammo, which costs us metal, but it's pretty. End of the day. Isn't that all that matters? Whee! Right, don't get shot by my own guns this time. We learned our lesson. I wish there was a sprint button. Clip our view again. It's close. I can hear it. There it is. Perfect. Board! Board at time! Okay, fine. We will find a way in. I hate the fact that grenades are so inaccurate that you can, like, just hit yourself. Right, come on. Oh, their grenade just disappears. Right. Right, what's in here? Surely this is where you keep your AI. It looks like a bridge. Let me in. No, that's an engine. I mean, it'll do as a target, I guess. Take the engine out. Then they won't be able to fly. Oh yeah. Right, now to find the AI. If I was an AI, where would I be? Ah! That's an ammo barrel. And I have just glitched outside. Right, let's try that again, but without the glitching. Right, here we go. There we go. No ammo barrels for you. Right, who's next?
Missile system. AI. There's an AI. Ha! Ah. Right, where's the other AI? Aha! That's just a local weapon controller, but the point stands. Right, where would you keep another AI? Below a gun. Where is another gun? Or I could, you know, glitch into the ceiling. It does seem to be a lot more prone to this these days. Aha! Under the rear gun, that's where you'd keep an AI. Yes! Mine! Oh yeah! Oh, well, we now have an atlas. Which, you know, I've repeatedly said, not really worth it, but uh... I mean, at the very minimum, it's resources. Might just get here. It looks a little bit safer. That said, we don't seem to have done all that much damage to it. We're repairing pretty quick. I mean, aside from the front turret having been destroyed, we do seem to now be floating. And that was me thinking that we'd, like, completely, utterly decimated the thing. Ooh. Hello, Earth Thruster. You look different than I remember. Like some weird sort of vector thruster design. Okay. Fly, my pretties, fly! Or, you know, just stay still. Whatever. Minigun. Boop. Yeah, that looks good. A lot more height there. Uh, and... We need to now go to blocks. Metal block. Metal beam. And then I want you to be a H E followed by a capped head. No, maybe a composite head. And then I would like to connect you to two casing modules. I believe that is the right one. Yeah. Two shell modules, two casing modules. And that should be fine. Sweet. Then we'll put the uh, missile weapon in, which won't be too difficult. Presume it doesn't take a ridiculous amount of scrap, which you could do. We managed to make a good dent in our metal, by the way. We're down to like 40,000. So, uh, you know, the effort's paying off. Right, so what we're going to do for the missile weapon is... Ooh. Do something fancy? Yeah, let's make it look pretty. So, I would like to put a mirror line up. And then we'll get a, uh, where is it? A four triangle. And at the top, 
we use slope and then we can put a missile system here and then below it we can put the uh, the AI so I would like to go with a um, do, 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 new object. I would like a two axis turret. Right. Block. Metal block. Uh, I'm gonna go with metal beam. Beam, beam. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sneezy time. Uh, right, metal beam. Actually, only one metal beam. Uh, I don't. I shouldn't chop that off. I'd lose resources. Uh, all right, and then I'll go with missile, missile controller. And then laser meta. Okay, so then we want. Launch pads, ejector, ejector, and a staggered fire add on set to point two, and then missile blocks. Sweet. And then it's just going to be a case of fin, fin, uh, variable thruster, which is down the bottom because reasons. Then fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank. I'll change some of that in a minute. Um, thumper head goes last. We want a laser beam rider. Thumper head. And then do we want to change any of this? Do we want to put on some sort of... Explosive? Uh, probably. Put one frag on. And I'll make the cone about... 20. Variable thruster, I'll put you up to 7,000. Uh, and as for... Ramp time... Get that down nice and low. Warhead arming delay. We're going to bring this down. And I know we promised it before, but that's because we didn't have ejectors. So we should be fine now. Assign two all same lengths. And this should work nicely. Uh, right. So let's go around armoring this up. Not that it needs to be armored. It's still got one like big gaping floor, which is this. Which is just going to get destroyed if it gets hit once. But um, for the sake of critification, which is totally a word now. It's not, it should be. Critification, what's it like in New York City? Uh, right. Like that. And then, oh yeah, this is like four, so we can use a beam. Sweet! I like it when I can use a beam. Less parts, less lag, all that jazz. Although I can put like a four strip here, but that means I have to turn off the mirror line and I'm lazy. So yeah, I don't like it that much. Or, more precisely, I hate turning off the mirror line even more. And then we can use a... ...beam here. Triangle. Triangle. And metal block, metal block. Slope. Sweet. I think that works quite nicely, actually. And hopefully it won't blow itself up, because that would be embarrassing. Again. Triangle. Triangle. 
and then blocks. I would like to require accuracy before firing. Make this a bit lower. 15. And then it's easy enough for us to do AI, local weapon controller, then maximum range to engage, minimum altitude to engage, and maximum altitude to engage, no, maximum speed to engage, no. Minimum range to engage. Probably don't want to engage people like really, really right up and close. So, like, yeah, screw it. It's fine. So, maximum range, minimum altitude. And then we'll just put an AI below it because, you know, nothing fancy. I don't even want to do like predictive targeting or whatever. So, that'll be absolutely fine for our purposes. I mean, you know, thinking about it, it's probably a little bit high because when it points up, it might interfere with this turret, but I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. Um, and I think... I mean, I was tempted to add a second one of these turrets, but for now, I might just call it... Oh, hello, we've got... This is on the way. Force count four. Atlas. Little boat. Atlas. Casket bolt. Okay. Probably two casket bolts and two atlases. I think this is a good first test of this establishment, then. Let's uh, just quickly polish it up, and then next episode, we'll face down this new uh, threat. Hello, there's a second fleet behind. An orca, and a begin battle setup. A red tuna? No idea what that is, but I'm going to look forward to a double battle episode next time. So if you've uh, enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay shiny.